driverless tractors with optical spot sprayers in tow. Welcome to farming in the 21st century. It is one thing reading about autonomous tractors in the news, but an entirely different thing altogether seeing one in action. And that is what showgoers at the recent Farm Fest field days at Toowoomba were treated to. As they say, seeing is believing. The autonomous system demoed at the field days was a joint collaboration between two innovative Australian companies, Croplands and Autonotrack, which developed the technology with local farmers in mind. More specifically, the technology, named Phantom Drive, is an integrated smart system designed to make spot spraying that much easier and less mundane for producers. In its launch phase, the system is linked with Cropland's weeded optical spot sprayer, which is a tried and tested technology on the market for targeting weeds in fallow paddocks. It is um, probably one of the more boring tasks on the farm, spot spraying. It might be a bit of a cliche, but it's, it's a bit of a marriage made in heaven, the, the two systems being able to work together. An autonomous tractor without an implement on the back of it is, is really a bit of a novelty, it's a waste of time. And the beauty of this system is that you know, not only can the operator see what the autonomous side of things is doing, but they can also see what the weed, weed it is doing as well. Eventually, the aim will be to have the Phantom Drive system tackle more applications on farm, such as spreading and wheel track renovation. The brain behind the system is Luke Shalowski, general manager and founder of Autonotrack. After several years behind the drawing board, his complete solution not only allows the tractor to drive itself up and down rows with the sprayer in tow, but also take into account several factors including weather, tractor tire pressure and wind speed. The kit is made up of a box inside the tractor cabin, which essentially houses the brains, which is the computer uh, system. That is then connected through a cable harness to the sensors, so the again the, the, the laser sensor at the front and our roof array with the GPS weather station. Now from the grey box we then hook into the tractor electronics for speed control, steering control. Another important factor that Shalowski has taken into consideration is safety of the operator and others on the farm. A laser collision avoidance sensor detects the presence of obstacles such as people or utes in front of the tractor and either slows it down or stops the operation altogether. Similarly, if conditions fall outside the set parameters for operational factors such as environmental temperature and tyre pressure, operation will also cease. So whenever the tractor either reaches end of path or there's a warning of any kind, it per default will send an SMS message to up to three mobile phones. Operators can control the operation remotely using any mobile device or tablet that is connected to the internet. The system first maps the paddock using a GPS system to determine the run lines, which are all done automatically once parameters such as operating speed and implement width are entered. Once the operator sets the parameters for all operating conditions, operators simply press a button on their mobile device and the tractor will commence operation along the set run lines. Whilst we have um, set up the system originally uh, for a New Holland uh, T7 200 horsepower uh, tractor, it's, uh, it's adaptable uh, to other brands and, and certainly other models as well. We are flexible and we're certainly working with the crop lines and their dealers to roll out the system across different brands and models. While it's still early days, Cropland says response to the system has been positive. There's always that um, what if factor with anything like this, but the more we show it and the more we get guys sitting in the seat looking at the system, you know, guys, you can tell they cop out of that cab and they're pretty confident of what they've seen is going to work. The platform itself, um, without the weed at sprayer, is around about $125,000. Um, then the weed at toolbar, a 12 metre version like you see behind me, a rough guide recommended retail is about $120,000. So as long as the tractor has a CVT transmission in it, we should be able to fit fit the, uh, the Phantom Drive to it. We've already received quite a few requests for demo dates um, on farm, so we're going to be starting at what we call a little bit of a road show. It's going to start up here in the Darling Downs and head further south 
uh, where interested growers can register with Croplands and their dealers um, and we'll get the tractor to them and they can have a go of it.